when I wake up in the morning, when the sun comes out to shine, I'm feeling fancy, I'm feeling fine, I'm watching the time at nine. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, nice. Isn't that nice. How about that one? <laughs> that is more great. to come. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Okay, number nine. If you're looking for a great way to spend an afternoon, head to the Chicago Botanic Garden, get your headphones on, and put on uh, one of their playlists. Ooh. Sugar Magnolia, blossoms blooming, that's all in you, I don't care. And you did open. That day you came back. This is awful. To the garden. You're not in the right headspace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the garden has a bunch of musical yes. playlists on Spotify meant to be listened to as you experience the place. And the songs are great. One list has The Grateful Dead, Van Morrison, and Dolly Parton. Another oh. one has classical music and tracks of wolves or bird Ooh. sound. <laughs> wolves. Yeah, Beethoven, yeah. Ah. It's in the same list as of the Eurythmics. Oh, yeah. You can find them on the, the uh, Botanic website <laughs> and on Spotify. To, wow. to breathe it all in there. Yeah. Make it a different experience. Mm. All right, number eight, if your kid's been bugging you for a pet, try this. For people who don't want a real cat, it's a lifelike cat backpack. Mm. Oh. It's a cat pack. <laughs> That's nice. Strap it to your back, carry it in the front the way you would a baby. Do whatever you want with it, but when you're done, you can also pose it, cuddle with it. Isn't that nice? Don't be surprised when people stop you on the street because it looks so real. It does look real. It's $29.99 from wow, amarummax.com. $29.99. Think of the joy. You can't beat it. You can't, you can't beat it. That's yeah, what your dad you always says. $29.99 for a fake cat. You can't beat that. No. <laughs> a realistic looking you know how one. How much a real cat costs? Yeah. All right, number seven. Let's talk about Andrew McCarthy's bad wig. Filming had wrapped uh, on the iconic John Hughes movie, Pretty in Pink. McCarthy was in New York and shaved his head for a play he was in. And when they called him back, uh, they needed to call him back for some reshoots. He told me he couldn't believe in somebody who didn't believe in you. I believed in you. Always believed in you. He just didn't believe in me. I love you. <laughs> it's Blaine, the guy. Oh. What's his name? Blaine. Oh. It's an iconic scene. Well, the, the real story. Go ahead. No, that's Larry. not Blaine. Blaine is the. Uh, isn't Blaine? Blaine's oh, the boy. bad guy. Oh. Yeah. No. What's his no. name? No. It was Blaine. Yes. Was Andrew McCarthy's character, wasn't it? Was it? Okay. Oh, yeah. That guy. Yeah. All right. He's so look closely at him in the prom scene. He's wearing a hairpiece. McCarthy talks about it in his new book, Rat. An 80s story. He'll be on our show next week. No kidding. Oh man, those two are really going yeah, at it. Oh, you're right. You're right. Like but Pittsburgh. he had a, in Good all Lord. the other parts of that movie, he had a fabulous head of hair. Yeah. Well, you know, when they first did the test run of this movie, yeah. she ended yeah. up with Ducky. Yeah. And then yeah. They, like the that. audience didn't like it, so they had to come back and reshoot that with the bad hair piece. Right. Oh, it's a great movie. You seen that one, Paul? Good. No, what was the name of it? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that one either. You've never seen Pretty in Pink? Mm -hmm. Pretty in Pink, no. I haven't seen that one. Have you ever seen a Molly yeah. Ringwald movie? Uh, Breakfast Club, I saw that. That was it. Oh. Yeah, the Hughes movies are good. Hmm. What makes them good? Well, they speak to our generation. I mean, Pat was before Pat's time. But uh, they're right. somewhat timeless, I think, in terms of speaking to that yeah, generation. Yeah, but was Paul really from your generation? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's not I from like that he's, I feel like he was transported from the 1500s. <laughs> yeah. And just dropped on Earth right. in 1965. Yeah. You're right. And that was it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Works. Yeah. 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 All right. You're in the Bolshevik clique. <laughs> yeah. Those were some cool Remember WW1? You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, number six, yeah. back in the mid to late 90s, this art exhibit caused quite a stir in Warsaw and Atlanta. Oh boy. The Irwin Live exhibit included paintings on the ceiling with live people suspended below them. What? It was designed to appear as though the artists were standing in front of their paintings while audience members watched them from below. Of course, they couldn't keep those guys dangling up there forever. That was just for the opening. After that, the humans were replaced by replicas. Wow, no, huh. that's art I'd 
yeah, maybe at least I'd stop in for a minute yeah. to look yeah. at it. You got someone live in there at least. Something's happening. Not, not, not an art lover. Yeah. So that's art, music, and rainbows, and horses yeah. <laughs> on yeah. your list. Yeah, most of it is way overrated. Yeah. Uh, but you throw a live guy hanging on a string. Yeah. Makes it a little more interesting. Yeah. Hmm. All right, number five. It seems like uh, manta rays don't get enough attention. This is no. something I've been talking about for a long time. Look how big they are. So anyhow, these ocean creatures, they can grow up to about 30 feet wide and about 3,500 pounds. They belong to the shark family and they get along nicely. And they get their nutrition by doing somersaults through patches of plankton in the ocean, pushing it into their mouths. They're most, mostly in tropical areas, but they've been spotted Ooh, as far cool. north as the Carolinas. In conclusion, manta rays are very big. Yeah. You didn't do your voice, Rob, and I thought for sure it was a perfect opportunity. You know, I'm a little worn out from doing my Yoda earlier. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know. 35 minutes ago. Yeah, I'm a little exhausted. But if you were going to do it, how would a manta ray sound? It just oh. sounds very whale like with that big yeah, mouth. Yeah. And they all yeah. sound like Yoda and Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. I'm trying my best. All right, number four, uh, you're looking at some of the movie sets left over from Star Wars films. They filmed parts of the movie in the Tunisian desert. True Star mm. Wars fans will recognize some of these places as oh, yeah. the planet of, is it Tatooine? There you go. Thank you. George Lucas and his crew built lots of the structures, and when filming was over, they left some of them there. And over time, the desert winds have worn down some of the buildings. Officials are working to preserve them, though, since they bring lots of income from tourists. Hmm. Wow. Number three, we hope everyone can get outside now and enjoy a class, a, a, a glass of champagne with their vaccinated friends and family. Okay. And when you do that, you will know the proper way to pronounce this champagne. Most people say Moet, they assume it's champagne, it must be French, so the T is silent. That's yeah. incorrect. It's pronounced Moet. What? Oh, I've been saying Not it correctly? Oh. <laughs> the person it's named after is Dutch, Larry not Moet. French. Yeah. Make me one all over. I always, I always have some trouble with the yeah you never know the french pronunciation so mm -hmm. that's good that i've been saying yeah, that correctly Blank's just yeah. said bring me the cheapest alcohol on the menu <laughs> <laughs> number two a recent study says older people are much happier than young adults yeah. researchers surveyed more than 1500 people ages 21 to 99 they found while older people have more problems physically they are much happier and satisfied with life. Mm. Younger people in their 20s have more depression, stress, and anxiety. One theory is that younger people get bothered by taking on more financial, job-related, and romantic demands, but older people are more capable of not sweating the small stuff. Hmm. And they know the train has pretty much left the station at that point. You're you're on a yeah. you're on a ride and you're it's you're riding year. it out. Yeah. You just, <laughs> senior, yeah. senior year, year of life. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay, time for number one. Uh, Larry King passed away in January at the age of 87. He had a great interview style, and late in his career, he had some insightful exchanges like this one <laughs> with actor Danny Pudi. Uh, a luxury you can't live without. A luxury I can't live without. Coffee. I really like good it's coffee. It's not a luxury you can get it anywhere. Uh, I guess, yeah, I like good coffee. With, with, uh, I love coffee, too. I like nice socks. Socks. <laughs> your, your socks, would you put in your shoes? Yeah, I really love them. I like kind of like, you know, cozy feet. You're attracted to your socks. I'm attracted to really nice running socks. Like, I'm always looking for good running you know, socks. Not, that's not a luxury, though. Coffee and socks are not a luxury. All right, give me a luxury. Which, what luxury should I have? Private plane. <laughs> Larry, I'm on DuckTales. <laughs> 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 that is the best. <laughs> All right, there. That's nine to nine. <laughs>